just on the left hand side, not the left, right hand side of the vessel. This is what we call pristine backcountry. So our boats are only allowed to go another about two kilometres to that first little lump of land down there. And the last six kilometres of that lake, the pristine backcountry. So untouched wilderness, paddle power only. And that is due to Mary Schaefer uh, petitioning to keep this place protected. So pretty amazing. Really, really nice if you're going to put in all the time to get out there to not hear our boats when you're paddling out on the lake. Alrighty, so welcome to Spirit Island everyone. We are going to dock here. You'll be able to hop off the boat and have a wee explore. We're going to be here for 15 minutes. We'll take care of the time for you. Once that 15 minutes is up, you'll hear a horn blast. Please make your way quickly back to the Curly Phillips with myself and Emily. So if you hear three horn blasts, we have already departed. So make sure you do come back on that first horn blast. Now we have a wonderful walking trail for you guys to use. It starts where it ends, it ends where it starts. It's uh, pretty good. That typical iconic photograph is from the top on the lookout point. Uh, if you get lost on this trail, I'll be very impressed. You will be the topic of my next tour. But please stay on that trail, folks. Spirit Island is sacred to the indigenous people. Now the Yeska, the Stony Dakota, they seen that forest fire as the land asking for help and awesome. asking for its guardians back. So they reached out to us the following year, 2016, to return to Spirit Island to reconnect to the land and start performing their ceremonies again. Now they did perform their first peace pipe ceremony in over a hundred years in 2016. So pretty proud to be part of a, a company that is helping rebuild that relationship between ourselves and the First Nations. There's a pretty uh, dark history in this area, the fact that they were evicted in the first place is not so great. But they do come back every year now. So we have gained more and more knowledge. Everything I've told you today is new knowledge within the past five years. They come out here every year, once or twice. And they were out here in June this year. They were performing a little bit more of a serious, somber ceremony this time. It was a a grieving ceremony for what's been happening in the ceremony, uh, the residential schools across Canada. The Stony Dakota, they had kids abducted and taken to the school in Camlet. So most likely the children in that mass grave were uh, Stony Dakota. They're very, very sad. And they were out here, they left a very traditional pair of children's clothing on the island uh, for those children's spirits that are in the mountains, as they're believed now. So that is part of, 